So you guys, we have a very important topic for today. But first, let me introduce myself first. If you don't know me yet or if it's your first webinar with me. So my name is uh, Spear. I'm a dropshipper and I run eBay stores for Selfrix. And I do these weekly webinars for you guys. Uh, uh, so I can share my knowledge with you and help you make your business more profitable and successful. Um, because really it's about the little things, okay? Uh, dropshipping is not hard. It just requires paying attention to the small details. So today we're talking about canceling orders and doing it correctly. So let's see our topics for today. Uh, so we're going to talk about how to detect orders that got canceled before they compromise your store's health, how to cancel orders correctly on eBay, and then I'm going to give you guys templates for fast uh, dealing with buyers. So let's talk about how to detect canceled or delayed orders on time. What do I mean by on time? Okay. So, you want to maintain your account as healthy as possible, meaning no cases, no negative feedbacks, uh, and with a little shipping delays as possible. Okay, so when you work primarily with Amazon as your, uh, you know, primary su supplier, and Amazon are known <laughs> uh, as a supplier that cancels order for no good reason, okay, because they don't like uh, people dropship off of them. Uh, so those canceled orders can become overdue orders, and then you get angry buyers who were expecting their item on a certain uh, date, and now they don't get it, and they get angry, and they leave a negative feedback, or open a case, or all of the stuff that I described right here, which are no good for our account. Okay, so we're trying to prevent it, okay? Um, I mean, what I'm trying to say here is that you have to uh, be on top of your game here and just know what happens with every order, okay? So, you know, 95% of orders are not a concern because they will get fulfilled automatically and the tracking numbers will get updated, um, especially if you're using the managed account service and everything will be okay. But we're still left with those five percentage, okay, that are potentially problematic. And we have to know the status of each uh, order in this five percent. You know what I mean? So how do we do that? So in order to do that, you have to track your potentially problematic orders through Selfrix. And by Selfrix, I mean purchase issues, okay? And through eBay itself. Okay, so if you guys don't know what purchase issues are, uh, when you log into your Selfrix user and you go to your dashboard, you'll have there under alerts, just in front of your face, you have alerts and then you have uh, purchase issues. Purchase issues are essentially orders that didn't, I'm sorry, didn't uh, get fulfilled automatically. And it could be for a couple of reasons, okay? I did a webinar uh, solely on purchase issues a couple of weeks ago. You can check it out. It's right here in this group. Okay, but if you see orders in the purchase issues, okay, may, let's say you have 10 per orders in purchase issues. Th those are 10 orders that weren't fulfilled automatically. And now those 10 orders are potentially uh, a danger to your account, okay, because they could get, uh, you know, um, they could become overdue and could cause uh, um, angry buyers, negative feedbacks, and item not received cases, all the things that we don't want. So as soon as we'll take care of them, okay, the sooner uh, uh, we'll just uh, prevent problems ahead. Okay, make sense? Okay, so let's talk about, so we said we have to detect those purchase issues in Selfrix and in eBay, right? So let's talk about the Selfrix part first, okay? So how do you detect the potentially problematic orders in Selfrix? So as I said, you guys, you have to check your purchase issues every day, every day, 
okay? And you have to monitor orders that cannot be shipped, okay? So, uh, I mean, what are the reasons that orders aren't getting fulfilled automatically? Maybe the item is out of stock on Amazon, okay? And Selfrix couldn't place the order because the, the item itself is out of stock. Maybe uh, Amazon just doesn't ship the item to your buyer's address. That could be too, especially if your buyer's address is in California, okay? Because California has all these regulations and uh, laws, okay? If you have ever heard of uh, California Prop 65, it's a state law that uh, prohibits uh, all sorts of hazardous materials uh, that could cause cancers or diseases, you know, such as chemicals, metals, all that kind of stuff. So uh, Amazon doesn't ship uh, to any address, okay? Or the third common reason for orders to fail are is negative profit, which means that by the time the uh, the order uh, the Selfrix uh, got to uh, place the order, the price went up. And now you're losing money on this transaction. So Selfrix, uh, you know, just automatically fails the order and lets you decide whether or not you're willing to lose th this profit, okay, this money. And if you do, you can you can place the order. But maybe you won't. You don't. Okay, maybe uh, you're not willing to lose this money. Maybe it's too much, okay, um, comparing to the original item's price and you prefer to cancel it, okay? So these are the three very common um, reasons why orders are failing, and then you see them on the purchase issues, okay? So if you check your purchase issues every day, you'll see these uh, uh, failed orders, and then you can decide what to do with them in advance, rather than just wait for them to show up on your eBay, eBay store as overdue orders, okay? Okay, so what do I do? What do I do with purchase issues? I mean, how do I deal with them? So if I encounter an out-of-stock order or uh, a negative profit, I usually wait for two days, okay? Why? Because I'm trying to give them a chance to get back in stock or maybe the price will go back down, okay? Because Amazon is a very dynamic supplier. Items are constantly getting out and in of stock, and prices are changing uh, sometimes by, by the minute, by the hour even, okay? So, you know, they could go back to where they used to be. So, I usually wait for two days, okay? So, um, if the order was placed in, uh, in eBay, let's say today, then I wait today and tomorrow, and then the day after tomorrow, if the item didn't go, go back in stock or the price didn't go down, okay, then I will send a cancellation request to the buyer. What is a cancellation request? Why can't I just cancel it? Well, I can. I can. But um, what happens is if you cancel orders on your own without asking permission from the buyer first, the buyer can complain to eBay about it. Okay, it, it happened to me before, uh, you know, I just, I was cocky and I said, oh, whatever, I'll just cancel the order. Next thing I know, uh, I get a, a message from eBay saying I'm canceling orders uh, under a false, uh, uh, you know, uh, false cause, okay, because the buyer didn't actually uh, consent to cancel the order and they punished me with three day temporary suspension. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It happened to me a couple of times. Okay, so ever since then, I stopped, uh, you know, looking down at the buyers and I started actually asking for permission to cancel the order. Okay, so uh, I actually have a template for this. I will show it. I will show it to you later. Okay, but I, I have a template and I send it to them to the buyer. Okay, and I give them two more days to answer. Okay. And if they have an answer by then, then I would cancel on my own. But at least there's a documentation in eBay that I was trying to contact the buyer and cancel the order. But uh, most of the time, they do reply 
like in, within a day and they say, yeah, please go ahead and cancel. Okay. Uh, so this is for out of stock or negative order. Now, all of this, all of this process right here, the waiting two days, the sending the message, all of this happens within the limits of my handling days, right? Because uh, when you define your shipping policy, you define your handling days, which is the time it takes you to provide a tracking number and the actual shipping itself, right? So we're talking about here about the, the, uh, the handling days, okay? Because um, if, if, for example, I commit to three or four business days, okay? Let's say three business days, okay? And I exceed it, okay? I, I didn't provide a tracking number by the, uh, by the third day. On the fourth day, the order becomes overdue. And then eBay, uh, you know, they track it, okay? They track how many times I uh, orders um, uh, got tracking number in delay, okay? So if you you every every month you start with a hundred percent and then it goes down every time there is a delay, and when you get down to ninety five percent, you lose your uh, best um, your top rated seller, okay? So this is why it's very important to to uh, cancel those orders before before they become overdue, okay? So everything here happens within the limit limitations of my um, handling days, okay? Okay, so what happened? I, I, I said there are three main reasons why orders fail in the purchase issues, right? So out of stock, negative profit, and can't ship to address. If this is the case, then there is nothing to do. There's no point wait, waiting, okay? Because Amazon just won't ship the item to the address, okay? So I just let the buyer know, okay? I have a different template for this. I just let the buyer know, and then I cancel the order right away, okay? When you when you want to cancel an order on eBay, you have three options. The first option, we never, never, never choose it because the first option is um, saying that it's your fault. Uh, that you're out of stock and this is why you have to cancel the order. Don't ever choose that because then you'll get a defect. No, we choose one of two uh, of the two other reasons. One is buyer um, uh, agreed to cancel the order and the second one is there was a problem with the address. So when you send this cancellation uh, request to the buyer and he says, yeah, please go ahead and cancel my order, then you can go ahead and legitimately cancel the order under buyer agreed to cancel order because he really agreed, okay? And when there is a, a problem with the address, then you can cancel the order under there was a problem with the address. And again, you're not lying, okay? You see what I'm saying? Okay, you have to be legit because if the buyer decides to complain to eBay, then you're screwed because a couple of those complaints and you'll get a, a temporary suspension. You know, it, it's just too bad, okay, because we can avoid it. Okay, so this is exactly what I said. Um, this way, you guarantee not to miss any order that cannot be shipped for any reason, allowing yourself enough time to handle it before it becomes overdue. Okay, I know you guys may be thinking uh, that I'm, you know, overly obsessed with overdue orders. But it's, it's a good thing to be overly obsessed about because it will uh, lose you your top-rated seller. And top-rated seller is good because you get extra exposure and, uh, you know, a lot of other benefits. And I don't want to lose this, okay? Uh, also, buyer appreciate you contacting them first in case of a problem uh, and consider it a better customer service so they're less likely to leave you a negative feedback. You guys, this is um, just as important, okay? You have to think of yourself as the customer, as the buyer. How annoying is this when you have a problem with the order and you are left clueless? I mean, the buyer, the, the seller doesn't contact you, doesn't update you of any problem, and you're just there, left in the dark, not knowing when or if your item will ever show up, and you've paid for it, right? So you get mad, you open a case, you want to screw this seller up, okay? So how nice is it is to get a 
a message from the seller uh, letting you know there was a problem with the order, maybe a delay, maybe you know it was lost in the transit or whatever, and then they refund you and all of this without you having to lift a finger, okay? Then you're you're less likely to wanting to screw the seller up and you're less likely to leave a negative feedback or open a case. Okay? So no way around giving a good customer service. I always say that, okay? This is uh, you know, one of the eBay's main goals is to make the platform very user friendly, very customer service friendly. Okay, they trying to give a good customer experience to the buyers. Okay. Okay, so let's uh, so we talked about how to detect those orders in sale phrase, right? Purchase issues, very simple. Now let's talk about how to de detect potentially problematic orders in eBay. Okay? If you'll do both uh, if you'll troubleshoot orders both in eBay and Salesforce, then you're totally covered. So what happens in eBay? Again, in your dashboard, you log into your store and then there's your dashboard, right? You have uh, again, just in front of your eyes, you have tasks, okay? Because eBay is trying to uh, help us be, be be good sellers, okay? They're trying to make our lives easier by letting us know what we have to do as sellers, okay? So always check the task section, okay? In the task section, you'll see uh, something called ship within 24 hours, okay? So again, if I set my shipping policy to three business days handling time, okay? On the third business days, I'm sorry, on the third business day, uh, the order, so supposedly I didn't provide a tracking number yet, so on the third business day, eBay will show up on the task section, this line right here, ship within 24 hours, and if I'll click it, I'll get to this order that needs to get tracking number by the end of the day, because tomorrow it will become an overdue order, okay? So your job, or actually your VA's job, okay, if you have a customer service VA, is to look at this ship within 24 hours and figure out why there isn't a tracking number yet, okay? So this is what it looks like, okay? Tasks, so you always see how many orders you have, uh, uh, 14 orders that need tracking number, but they're not, uh, I mean, maybe they were ordered today or yesterday, they're still within the time frame of the handling time. But here you have ship within 24 hours. So they're eBay trying to help us and 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 try and they alert you, okay, to that this order needs to get a tracking number because tomorrow it will become overdue. And this overdue, uh, you know, it, it goes to your uh, seller level uh, assessment and it's hurting you, okay? So Sometimes, okay, if I click on it, you see that there is no tracking number, you see? Because it says add tracking. So your your job or your VA's job is to check this order on Selfix, okay? Because in Selfix, there is a link, right? If you go to Selfix, it looks like this. You have the order number from Amazon, right? And then you can click on it, and it will show you the shipping progress. So... If I cl so specifically in this example, I clicked on it, and this is what I saw. I saw that it was arriving later, right? This is why there was no uh, tracking number yet because it wasn't shipped yet, okay? But at least I know it wasn't canceled because I could have just clicked this right here, and instead of showing me this uh, progress bar, it could have showed me, uh, you know, in, in big letters. Uh, Cancelled order, okay? This is usually happens in private Amazon accounts, okay? Usually this is, as you can see right here, this is uh, an order that got fulfilled by the managed account service. Uh, managed account service, the whole point of managed account service is that orders aren't getting cancelled at all because everything is legit, okay? These are accounts that are authorized by Amazon to resell, okay? So this is why no uh, order from managed account is getting um, 
is getting canceled. But if you don't use the managed account or if you use your own private Amazon account, then yeah, you could click on this and discover that uh, somewhere, bet uh, somewhere uh, between the last uh, three days, or um, Amazon canceled your order. And this is why it's shipped within 24 hours. This is why it doesn't have a tracking number because it got canceled. Okay, but either way, let's say it was canceled. Either way, you can um, you can do something about it. You know what I mean? It will still become overdue, but at least you cut it on time. Okay, so here it is. So if the order was executed from a personal Amazon account, could be that it got canceled. Okay, like I said, if so, and the buyer hasn't asked about the order, reorder it. Yes, it will become overdue, but if uh, you know, sometimes they they get shipped within a day, so maybe you saved it on time, and maybe it will get a tracking number very very fast, or maybe it will become overdue, but it will still get fast. Okay, maybe it will be you know in the overdue uh, just for one day. Okay, because you saw that it was it got cancelled, and you reorder it today. Okay, and it takes two days to get to the buyer, and uh, you know before the buyer uh, had a chance to notice that something was wrong. Okay, you know what I mean. Uh, so, but on the other hand, if the buyer has inquired about it, and potentially you feel that he can get mad, okay, don't reorder it, just refund him. Okay, that will make him at peace, and you know prevent most likely a complaint or a negative uh, feedback. But if the order was executed from managed account, like in our example right here, could be just delayed, okay? Uh, you know, when you upload items from Amazon, okay, even though, you know, uh, I use only the non-API version of Salesforce, okay? So I can only upload items that are, uh, uh, Prime, okay. So in my mind, Prime, okay, takes about like three to maybe five days, two maybe maybe two to two to five days maybe to get to the buyer. But sometimes it it takes more, okay. And there is no way to know it in advance, okay. No way. So like here in this example, it's just a delay. So this is an example for a prime item from Amazon that takes a lot of time to get to the buyer, okay? Because it takes more than three or four days to get to the buyer. So for me, although it is a prime, uh, you know, on Amazon, you'll, you'll find it as a prime item. For me, it's not considered a prime anymore. So what do I do? I delete the item, okay? So people, buyers, won't keep purchasing it and every time there will be a delay with it. I prefer to have this delay just this time and delete the item and prevent buyers from buying it again and again and every time I'll have a delay, okay, because this item has proven not to get to the buyer on time. You know what I mean? But every time I take an action, okay, either I reorder it, refund it, or delete it. Okay, but I prevent it, I prevent this delay from happening a second time. This is what you have to take from this. Okay, so uh, as the time goes by, you delete those problematic orders that have proven to uh, uh, get shipped in delay, and you keep just the items that are just the opposite, okay, that have gotten on time, okay? So you lose the pro problematic items and you just keep the good items, okay? And, uh, you know, over time, you just, you're left only with good selling items that are getting to the buyer on time, okay? And you're decreasing the amount of delays, complaints, negative feedbacks and all of this bad stuff that we don't want okay okay so after we talked about how to detect uh, those uh, orders let's talk about how to actually cancel it 
Okay, so first, first things first, we have to establish that eBay uh, don't like sellers canceling orders. They don't. And if you'll do it enough, you are putting your, your account at risk of getting banned, okay? Because eBay, in their eyes, you know, when they see uh, uh, the cancellations coming from the seller, they, you know, connecting the dots and understanding that something's wrong here. The seller may not be as serious as we thought. He opposes a risk to the marketplace, so we'll, we'll shut down his store, okay? So try to avoid cancellation as much as you can. This is why I recommended um, reordering an, an uh, item from an order that can, got canceled if the buyer hasn't complained about it, okay? Better to reorder and get an overdue order than cancel the order altogether, okay? Uh, but sometimes we have to. Sometimes there is no choice, okay? If you remember, guys, uh, we talked about the purchase uh, issues earlier, so sometimes you wait two days, okay, and the item just doesn't get back in stock, okay? It doesn't, and then you're stuck because you have this order on eBay, but you have no item to purchase on your supplier, right? Um, so you have to cancel it sometimes. But as I said, it's better to ask for the buyer's permission before canceling the order as buyers have complained to eBay in the past. And I told you guys, it did end in a couple of days suspension, okay? So what, uh, what I want you to do, guys, is send the buyer a message, and then if he doesn't reply within a day or two, meaning, you know, by the time that your order is getting to ship within 24 hours, right? Then you cancel the order anyway. You remember, because our purpose here is to avoid overdue orders. Okay, so I want to show you my template that I'm using when I'm sending buyers uh, cancellation requests. So it goes like this. Thank you so much for buying our product. Our for unfortunately, while packing your order, we noticed the item is defective. It seems that the item has uh, since gone out, out of stock, and this was our last one. I'm deeply sorry about that, but this situation was beyond un our control. I currently do not have any estimation on when this product is coming back in stock. Would you like to wait and see if it would come back or would you prefer me to cancel your order? Best regards. And in 99% uh, percent of the times, they tell you, yes, please cancel my order. And they even thank you for letting them know, okay? And this way you've earned yourself a happy buyer, okay? He got his money back. Uh, and he legitimately uh, uh, agreed to cancel the order. So when you go ahead and cancel and you choose the reason, buyer uh, uh, asked to cancel order, um, everything is legit, okay? There is a backup, okay? eBay always reviews, okay, because when you cancel an order under the reason buyer agreed to cancel, they check for proof, okay? So... The first uh, place they go to is your correspondence between yourself and the buyer. So when they see that the buyer actually wrote the words, yes, I agree to cancel, please cancel, thank you, then they understand that you're not lying, okay, about your reason for canceling, okay? So, and then they don't suspend you, okay? Uh, so actually, this really uh, leads me to uh, the next section. Oh, yeah. I wanted to show you this. So remember, guys, I told you there are three reasons when you cancel an order, you have to pick a reason. So there are three reasons. You see this one, the first one, I'm out of stock uh, or the item is damaged. Even though it's true because the item is out of stock, right? You never, ever choose this re uh, reason. If you do, it will automatically give you a defect. And I, I need to remind you, that after three defects, you will get to below standard, okay? So you absolutely don't want to ever choose this reason, okay? That, uh, so we're left to choose between uh, one of these two. So buyer asked ask to cancel the item, uh, buyer asked to cancel the item, uh, the order, and something was wrong with buyer's shipping address. 
So this is what you'll choose when you send this message to the buyer. And the other one you'll choose when you have a purchase issues, can ship to address because Amazon won't ship to your buyer's address. Okay. And then you can just go ahead and cancel this. Okay. So this really leads me to the next uh, uh, subject for today, which are, uh, is templates for fast dealing with buyers. So let me pause here for a second. Okay, and let me, um, actually, I think it's maybe open here. Yeah, yeah, right here. So I will leave, uh, I've, I've prepared a Google Sheet with all of the most common issues, okay, and ready templates uh, for these issues. I will post this link to this uh, Google Sheet in the comments below so you can download it for yourself and use it. And um, so let's just go over a quick view of what we have here. Okay. So this you see right here, this is the subject, you see. So this is the out of stock or cancellation. So whenever the item is out of stock or the profit, uh, I'm sorry, the price has gone up and you're losing a lot of money. I'm talking about a lot of money, okay? Because if I'm losing a dollar or even two, I'm willing to accept this loss and avoid a cancellation, okay? But if you're losing like, you know, 40%, okay? Then it's really not worth it and it's better to cancel. So then you cancel, you send this message, okay? But you also have lost in transit. So remember when I told you that uh, maybe if you use your private Amazon account and uh, the order got canceled, Okay, and maybe the buyer has inquired about it and you're afraid of reordering it because it then will take, uh, you know, it will take too long and the buyer could get mad. So in these cases, I prefer not to reorder. I just send them uh, this uh, template right here, which basically says that um, the item was lost in transit and this is why they didn't get it. And then I just refund them. Okay. And then you have here uh, more very common uh, issues, uh, complaining that the package is from Amazon, or if a buyer asks to cancel the order, but you can't because it's already in advanced shipping stages or even has already a tracking number, okay? If someone asks to ask uh, to change the address, which we do not do because, you know, we work with a automation system, right? So the automation, uh, you know, ships the item to the item that uh, the, the buyer uh, inserted on eBay, right? So you have all of these templates, okay? Um, you can go ahead and just uh, take a look at them, okay? Uh, these will save you a ton of time, okay? Because really uh, all of these complaints, all of these uh, buyer questions repeat themselves all the time. So you can just go ahead and use these, but most important thing I want you to understand, guys, is um, just give good customer service. Don't um, cancel on your own, okay? And um, just use the templates, okay? And just check your your uh, uh, purchase issues. They're not there just uh, for the sake of being there on your dashboard, okay? They're there because you need to pay attention to them. Okay, and uh, if you if you'll do what I, I said right here, you wait for two days to see if it comes back in stock. If not, you send the message, you cancel before it turns to overdue, then your account will be fined and you will maintain uh, your top rated seller status and uh, you'll have more sales, which is the bottom line right here. Okay, so as I said, I will leave in the comments uh, the link to this Google Sheet with the templates for you to use, completely free, you guys, for you. And I hope you enjoyed the webinar. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, let's see if you have any questions before we finish right here. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, 
wait yeah okay so i see we don't have any more questions for today uh so i want to thank you for your time uh for your time being with me and watching this webinar hope it helped you if you have any questions you're more willing uh more than welcome to leave them in the comments below and i always check them later so go ahead and ask thank you you guys have a great day